Hello everybody and welcome to another day of Minecraft Musings. Actually this is probably going to be only a couple of episodes because I got a lot of doings today. But um, anyways, no, I just wanted to record uh, some thoughts on possibly... Oh wait, whoops. Where am I, where am I going? This way. This way. Oh, and already... <laughs> I forgot the alarm because I was busy shuffling, and this is good, we need to keep this on record. Um, <laughs> I was busy shuffling videos, not on record like any law thing, but you know, just knowing that when you do these videos from a PlayStation, you gotta shuffle, or really anything. I mean, in YouTube, I think I'm gonna go in and try to clean out some of my old videos, um, just because I have tons up there. Let's see, 11, yeah, I'll do 1110. I mean, I know that's a little over th six days. Whoops. See, and you gotta, you gotta make sure. And that's why I love how phones have become now. Because you know, back in the day, back in my day, when we had just flip phones, like we had, when we set an alarm, <laughs> there was a good chance that we we messed it up. I mean, there was often like times that we'd be late for. You know, I know I was at least late once to my job. It was a temp job at uh, Noodles and Company. You know, after I got done with my cybersecurity class, and I was like, I told myself I just wasn't going to work when I was finishing up that class, and I'm glad I did, too, because that was an intense class. I mean, and <laughs> mind you, this is after I already had a degree from CSU. I took another class, like, but it was either this or go back for a double major, because I wanted to, like, really drill it down that I had a CS kind of understanding, but, and there is a distinction, too. Like, ACT is more, like, customer-focused or f facing human facing like interfacing with like people in the machines so but you still need to have a, a healthy understanding of the machines and be able to program them and work them almost as good as a software developer so which is funny because that was my first job out of college was software developer so well intern mind you i started as an intern i interned for three months and then and it was pretty good i want to say it was uh well uh, I want to say it was like $15 an hour, but that was really good for the time. Now minimum wage is up to like that, but everything's more expensive too. So, you know, and I feel like that's really the driving factor of inflation. Like a lot of people are talking about like, yeah, the global markets did some of it, but um, I really want to say just like raising the minimum wage. Oh, and also, sorry, India and uh, the potential weird that could be, could happen. So anyways... <clears throat> I got a comment, so that was awesome, like gifting uh, an edition of Minecraft. Although I instantly started thinking about all of the things, like I already got to go back and bleep out two words, I know. And that's really not me, and I'm, I'm trying to, you know, be good about that. I try to do the same around my own kids. Like I, you know, I didn't realize, you know, this um, person that commented, I think was more of a kid himself or herself themselves no, i think it's himself anyways doesn't matter i'm not even gonna try but they were i watched a video it was goat simulator it was awesome i subscribed but i mean my kiddos play that game and i've played that game like it's it's really fun it's it's weird and they've got dead mouse in there which i've actually i took a picture with my friend's helmet that he made that looks like dead mouse wait a minute i just realized i forgot my boat that's pretty far down there. Let's just make a new one. Sorry, we're going to take your tree, villager. Uh, but anyways, no, and it was important. I said, oh, whoops, we already have wood. So, well, we have a lot of wood. <laughs> just like new. All right, we need to do, oh, we have sticks, we have blocks, we need a shovel, and then we need a boat. Ooh, let's do an acacia boat, nice. All right, we upgraded, and we left something. <laughs> no, we'll leave this village alone. I was gonna say, we'll leave a little, uh, a little light tower or something. Oh, anyways, no, sorry, my point, getting to the point of that, Oh, they even have a cool dock and everything. Um, like, there is a thing about, you know, interacting with kiddos on the internet. And that's why, like, I don't talk on Fortnite. Um, a lot of my videos, I just have... Oh, we, we keep our mics set to 
friends only and we only stay friends with our own families and that's basically it like that's our safety precautions like i mean there's a lot of scams out there and basically like and here's a heads up for everybody that's watching like basic scams anyone asking for your password you never get your give you out your password and then always do 2fa which ugh, it's, it's annoying um anyways always set up 2fa when possible and then uh yeah, just never share your password. And then the other thing to that is never click suspicious links. So if you didn't like search for that link, then question it, even if it comes from your friends and family. Because a Facebook scam is where someone will say, hey, look who died. And then they share a suspicious looking link. And, you know, and it's especially like it's really easy because it often comes from a friend that you haven't heard from for a while. Like, and that's actually how I found out that my friend had passed away is because I was looking at his Facebook page. You know, after not talking to him for like two, three years. I, well, now I know why. But even before that, we didn't talk for like two or three years. So, um, anyways, ooh, look at that little sinkhole. Oh, and with magma blocks. Uh huh. Yep, I see your tricks, Mojang. So, anyways, no, like uh, my first reaction was, yeah, sure. Like if you do 30. Minecraft shorts, which is an awesome deal, I think. At first I was thinking, no, help me get to like 500 subscribers. But then I was like, nah, that's, that's messed up. And then I even thought about it, I was like, would I feel comfortable doing that? And I'm like, no, I don't want to hype myself up, let alone have someone else hype me up. So that was fine, you know. And don't get me wrong, I don't want, like, I mean, needless hype. I just, it's kind of cringy for me, and I'm okay without that. And then I, once I checked out his channel, or their channel, you know, and I saw it was about... 380 subscribers well, whatever it is it's one more because I subscribe because it is free and like and I do enjoy like even though I get tons of notifications that's fine like I'm okay with that because then I'll just like look at it and like pick through them and you know and I'll go seek out the entertainment that I want and that's that's partly because of where I worked I mean when I worked at Vestas uh, Blades over there in Windsor um, they taught us that they also taught us 5s so like when we're when you're in between tasks at your work just look around you, like try to be cleaning up, sorting your stuff, like making sure your tools are good, like in, in good working order or sharp if they need sharpened, um, cleaned if they need cleaned, uh, just anything like that, just because it helps make the workday go by a lot faster too. And then you feel more accomplished, you know, you get more exercise, doing more things, and then it helps for your mind state too, because it like, it just cleans your area. Your, you know, it makes sure, and it gives you that reassurance that your work area is at least better than it was. It doesn't have to be perfect, and that's the other thing is like don't don't go the opposite way. Like I mean, yeah, it's good to do some upkeep, you know, um, of your stuff, and just take pride in your work. But then also have a healthy work life balance where you separate it out. And ah, and see, that's the thing. I feel awkward asking for shorts from, you know, that like. But I mean, hey, if someone's watching Minecraft videos and. There's, but now I feel less extra bad. So let's keep it to more PC, uh, PG rated concepts. I mean, granted, we will keep talking about computer science. I'll talk about that all day. But I mean, really, I, like this one specifically, I was more excited to just keep exploring this area. And it is not disappointing. Like, oh, look at that. Oh, it was just not loaded in. But yeah, and that's probably just one water source flooding out. Anyways. Yeah, because I wanted to finish this map and maybe even start a few videos. Like, like I said, I got a lot going on today, but like this week, maybe do some videos of down there in the lower right corner, the southeast corner. It still does look like a person upside down, like a blue person with like a white dot or a chicken. I don't know. But and then you got ducks, which actually let's look at that. Ducks are kind of funny. They've got the orange, bright neon orange feet. There's a bunch of ducks near my house. And like, and then they got, you know, their bills. They just look interesting. And they sound like they're laughing when they're quacking. Like, quack, 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 quack. like someone just quacked a big joke. <laughs> yes, I make dad jokes all day. So, anyways, no. I just I put that out there because, you know, anytime you're interacting with people on the internet, you got to be careful. And there's a lot, there's a lot of trolls out there. Um, that can be pretty mean, and that's actually, uh, like social, I don't know, it, it, it sounds kind of hokey, kind of like social assault or bullying or cyber bullying, but then at the same time, like, yeah. But then you see a lot of videos like, you know, like, 
doing celebratory dances. Like I do some dances in Fortnite sometimes. Like if I take out, like sometimes I'll play squads and like my squad will go completely opposite of where I was going or, and I try to follow them. I really do like as much as possible. I'm the most understanding and forgiving teammate that you'll have. I mean, I'm the quietest teammate because I don't talk to anybody, but you know, and I think that's the same as why I wanted to stop streaming because it was cool, but I couldn't really control who the, not, not that I want to, but it's just you when you're when you're interacting with someone of a certain age group, well, like a, a minor. Like I mean, when you're interacting with a minor, you got to be careful. I mean, and and a lot of these things on these mu musings kind of go pretty deep, especially with like religious concepts. And if you're not ready to hear it, it could be pretty offensive. And I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to be offensive. So, anyways, maybe I'll stop blabbing about you know religion and politics for a while. And it is stressful, mind you. The number one killer in America is heart problems. So. It, it makes perfect sense that the more we get worked up about the problems that we have going on here, and we do, like, mind you, like, in, well, actually, let's talk about that real quick, like, the religion thing, because, you know, sp specifically India, because, I mean, like I said, I was just there, it was a really cool place, I saw this art school, um, they, they had graffiti going on in there that was, like, you know, definitely as good as anything I've done or seen over here, and it was, like, it was really cool, and it was, like, culture, you know, across countries, and... Oh, yeah, because like, uh, and if you look at my coding game stuff, and that was the other, uh, hold on, that was the other deal I was making. Oops. Um, because, and I realize there's, there's already tools out there to translate pieces of work and content, but um, like I watched a video of this, this kid's, and yeah, it was, it was all in another language, and you know, and that's why I want to say India, but I could be wrong. I could be very wrong because, like I said before, I asked my Saudi roommates like what this uh, Deller Mandi, I think was his name. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> um, what are you saying? And Abdul looks at me. He's like, "What? You'd racist? Like, <laughs> this isn't Saudi." <laughs> Uh, I had no idea. I was just, I mean, I was just learning Arabic and not a lot, mind you. Although it does sound a lot like Spanish, so that's interesting. And I know a decent amount of Spanish, not a lot. I mean, I know how to speak it like como un niño, like a kid. That's about it. And that's how I learned to teach computer science, like talking kind of like a kid. What? Ooh. Although, you know, by that right, I should be making some of my own shorts. Like, I have had some pretty cool moments here, but, oh. But a lot of it was, it was really heavy, that last. In fact, it's kind of sad because, like, the videos, I think it was on a, a 620, which, whew, that got pretty heavy. And that got pretty uh, sad. And I didn't want it to go that way. Like, and that's why I was bringing up Dia de los Muertos. Like, in Spanish culture, um, the Day of the Dead or Halloween is uh is more in respect for the people that we've lost and so that's why i was just it, it reminded me of that and you know and i've now had quite a few friends from college like that have passed away that i just i just didn't talk to for a couple of years and then i'm like oh well that i guess that explains things and so and then you see the things on facebook like a, a you know a few of my older uncles like post things like check out with your friends check in with them like and that's kind of how I get a pulse of my family, like how I see if they're doing okay. And like I said, I did notice um, an increase in bot activity on, and I say bot, but it really could be like operatives, or it could just be people from anywhere in the world, like just posing as Chinese stuff. But usually it's like an Asian woman, um, some kind of marketing or entrepreneur, like in New York or something, and then it's like, huh. So, and, and it happens to everybody too. Like I kind of pay attention to that on the Twitters, like, um, and for, for women, like if they can sense that you're a female, or I think there's even a way to key off of that. Like it's, your account is either male, female, or, or in between or undecided, or prefer not to say. But I think if you have access to those variables, then you could design the phishing and the spam attack. I'm not saying to do this. I'm just saying like this is what you got to look out for. And you know, as I say these things, I hope people are putting this together and be like, nope, okay, if I see this, danger, watch out, gotcha. Because that's what these are. These are guides. These are, I mean, kind of Minecraft guides, but honestly, Waddles is, like, way better at explaining these. Look at another village. Oh, yeah. And, oh, so, like, random Badlands, like, towers. I don't know. Oh, I should mention that I had to update the game before I started this stream, or this video. So, yeah, they're not even streams anymore. I'm just uploading videos of my exploits and my exploration. And my, my giving back. So either way, I thought the idea was awesome. 
like a little bit of work and I, I do that for my own kids like I have them do like they'll write some scratch programs and I'll give them something like Minecraft bucks or something and like you know or <laughs> I taught my kids how to tie their shoes within one day um, by bribing them with something similar so it, it works it works and it's how the real world works as well like you want to talk about setting kids up for success and mind you, my kids are like elementary school age. Like, I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're getting pretty big, but they're not like, they're, I don't know, they're not like high school. In fact, I'm getting close to saying that they should have their own YouTube channels. But I'm, I'm respecting my co-parent, and I honestly think they're a little too young right now. But hey, like, I don't know. Just because, and we're getting better, honestly. Like, I... I just watching YouTube, and I'll watch like whatever's trending, and just kind of let it run through. And it's uh, actually, you know what? We should. Uh. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Where am I going? Okay, I was gonna say we should just explore this little bit and get it taken care of, because yeah, otherwise I'm gonna have to do like a whole nother. And plus it's on water. So anyways, yeah, we found a camel too. It was really awesome. But oh yeah, sorry, to finish that thought, I had to update the game before starting it. It wouldn't let me load into my realm without that. So there we go. But oh yeah, and more like this stuff is so awesome. Just to kind of like have and like I, that's why I always buy it from the wandering trader, because I want to see if it like actually changes the water into like a warmer like here, it, you kind of can't tell because usually it has like a greenish tint. I want to say, and maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it just needs more light. But I feel like that looks more just blue, like the normal water. Oh but yeah, this this map is definitely one of the most interesting by far because it still has a lot of water, but then it also has a lot of land features and you know it's and those really high like. It's like the Plains Highlands or something. You know, I think back to when... Oh, and then the other thing, sorry, my little spiel on video games. So I was shooting real firearms in first grade. First grade. Um, you're five years old at that age. And I took my first hunter safety courses at five. My dad was a military man, and he wanted me trained up, like, to be able to protect my family, protect my community, protect my home. So basically, I took an oath when I was freaking five. <laughs> So, and just so everybody, you know, outside non-US, every single law enforcement officer, every single firefighter, every single doctor, every single um, military person, they all swear oaths to this country and to the people. Um, like with doctors and healthcare and medicine, it's um, swear to do no harm. Like it's the, there's a fancy name for it, um, but I forget it. It sounds kind of like some like witchcraft voodoo thing. Uh, but anyways, no, it's, or it's Latin. <laughs> it's probably Latin, <laughs> but um, but it's basically do no harm, and that's the oh the Hippocratic oath the Hippocratic never mind it's not Latin it's a but it's weird because you think of a hypocrite as somebody who betrays what they said like a hypocrite is someone who says one thing and does another kind of like how we traded with the natives we we made one deal and then we did another just like Darth Vader does in you know Star Wars he makes one deal with Lando Calrissian. Then he does another, and he's like, pray I don't renegotiate further, or pray I do not alter the deal further. There you go. Um, anyways, yeah, and you know, my kiddos have seen Star Wars. They've seen, like, you know, oh, and that's why I, like, I keep bringing up Bollywood, because I feel like anything that America's produced, like India's produced, like some kind of spoof remix or something similar. And like, and it's awesome because, and they're learning like the tricks, the cinematography, all the different little like, and it would be really nice if like we all cooperated and, but I, I feel like the, the movie industry is really like one of the last um, bastions of not greed so much, but inefficient distribution of wealth. Um, and it's still, and, and like, I almost feel like I'm betraying my own, you know, social groups, my own demographics by trying to teach computer science for free. But at the same time, Linux is free. The real old school Linux, like basically hippies, right? but the ones that created Linux and did Linux, Bill Gates, look at Bill Gates. Like, you know, I just saw this other thing, like he has tons of farmland. I want to know what that farmland is doing. And I'll bet you it's some really cool stuff because I know, 
he was um, supporting a mushroom company to replace packing materials. And you know what that could mean for our environment? Like, that's a huge win. Like, if we could replace packing materials. And, and even now, like Amazon, you know, evil or good corporation, whatever you want to think, and Bezos is definitely wealthier than wealthy. However, look at what they're doing. They're cutting down on packaging and they're making, and not saying UPS isn't following suit as well. Everybody's doing these things. And, and again, people are people. We got to remember that. Like everybody's jumping in on board with like the Go Green initiative, either willingly or begrudgingly. You know, mind you, there are still a lot of arguments for it being a scam. But I mean, I just, oh, and I'm sorry. I will say the one thing. Like once we started sailing into the the Arabian Sea, like around India, because we were in around Dubai and the water was fine. It was, you know. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It was, it was water. It didn't really, I mean, that's what I thought I would expect about a sea. But once we got into port around India, it did get kind of dirty, kind of grungy. And, and again, I'm, we're no one to talk because our first ocean cleanup initiatives happened around the U.S., I'm pretty sure. Like, just because, well, we have inmates, too. We have slave labor to clean it up, um, depending on where it is. But, like, you know, I don't deny for a second that we aren't huge contributors to the trash islands that I still don't know if they exist, but oh, and something else cool. Elon Musk and uh, um, the leader of India, I forget his name, and it's hard for me to remember because it's, it's different, but like I'm already bad with names, let alone foreign leaders. Um, <coughs> oh, I mean. Like, I'm bad with my own leaders. We did the citizenship video just to see how hard it was to become a citizen of, U of the United States. And turns out, that's not even the half of it. And I keep ranting about that, but I was kind of upset about that. Because I didn't realize it took like 30 years. Hmm. Oh man, I don't know. See, and so... I just to kind of finish off that other thought, I did add the caveat, like, make sure this is okay with your parents. Because once I realized that it was a kid or, like, someone that was probably less than 18 years old, then I was like, okay, I got to cover my bases. Like, because that's the thing. YouTube doesn't control, like, and you can watch adult YouTube. And, like, because there's a, even a, a lever that I can push or toggle to make sure that only adults watch these videos. Like, because I already say, no, it's not made for kids, but... There's one that says, like, exclusively, like, there will be... And that's where I see people swearing. And so I apologize. I used, I think, two adult words uh, so far this season. And I might have in the past. I don't know. I apologize, though. I might have to go... Or, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, I don't want kids looking for swear words. Um, Shoot. Well, if someone else noticed, be like, oh, there's one of the adult words you were asking us to find. <laughs> then you could be... I don't know. I'm going to try to watch these at some point, but... Really just having fun churning out more of them and getting things done. Like, oh, I was kind of in a lull there. We were just mining and building like emeralds. And, and that's great. It's a great way to stay on topic and discuss things. But really, like, <laughs> I, I want to build. I want to enjoy Minecraft. This is like meditation for me. And I don't do yoga. I probably should. I stretch. I stretch regularly, especially working, too. Like, and that is a word of caution for people getting into the tech career. Um, you need to be able to exercise. Now, whether that's walking around the block or standing at a standing desk, like, you know, my boss encouraged me to get a standing desk and we had it in the budget, so I did. And now I can sit, I can stand, I mean, you know, so, and it's good. But I also, like, get up and walk around. So, I mean, a lot of people do, like, we'll go for walks, like, there's a nature trail, like, by the office, so it's, yeah, it's awesome. And we need to do that more as, like, a society, too, is build more nature trails, more nature areas, more nature integration areas. And I will say, like, oh, yeah, India was beautiful. A lot of that architecture... Oh, sorry, no, the Elon Musk thing. Let's, let's talk about that. So Starlink is actually banned in India currently. Um, something else I noticed. But uh, that's promising that Elon's... Because it's for censorship reasons, and I respect that. Because, again, we're talking about the throughput of people discussing ideas like religion and politics, like... You know, that really is, I don't know, you shouldn't keep like a restrictive control on it, but at the same time, if, if your people aren't used to it, and all of that is to say is like everybody needs access to tech, 
So I'm thinking about like trying to encourage people to start building like public arcades that are affordable. So like kiddos can go and like play games, like all sorts of games, like in, you know PS5, Xbox, whatever the newest one is, one I think. Like, but then even that, I feel like they did something newer than that because Xbox One was more like the PS4, and then Xbox 360 was like the PS3. Kind of feel like I don't know. I could be getting those wrong. I had the Xbox original. Um, and that was awesome. They had some really cool games. Um, I want to say that's what I played like true crime on the true crime New York City and true crime LA. Granted, I was in I was in high school. Those are very violent video games, and so like I'm okay with my kiddos in Fortnite, but not like, uh, nah. <laughs> because those games got really heavy into like well and that's why I'm saying like I gotta watch what I say on these things because even though it's not made for kids kids can definitely watch them and mostly that's also because computer science while yes it's fun and learning how to solve algorithms is like well it is like solving puzzles and that's why it is so cool but also I'm gonna cool it on killing the cows so sorry it's because that is a thing so if you're not aware cows are sacred in India and you know and they are like my uncle used to have a dairy farm and he treated his cows really well too. And granted, they weren't like, I, I wouldn't say like sacred. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I want to keep like zigzagging this way. So like as we get closer to the exit, <laughs> we can just be, yeah. Plus this is keeping the high altitude, which is a good thing you want to do when you're exploring. Oh, that's kind of cringe. I just subcontracted out work to a kid that I don't know without their parents' consent. So hopefully, hopefully they check with their parents, make sure it's okay. Because at the end of the day, a Java game, like granted, I'm not rich, but Java's like 30 bucks. Or well, Minecraft is like 30 bucks. And I just looked it up. You do get both versions now. So gifting a Minecraft is gifting both versions. You just gotta, it does cost your time to set it up. And I admit, like I play the Bedrock version because it's on my PlayStation. Like that's just easiest for me. And I can pump out these videos super easy. Oh, man, that is... That's why you got to be kind of careful. I almost wanted to jump, but if I missed there... Ooh. I'm going to do it. Oh! <laughs> but I checked the, the angle, the slope. Like, it looked like it was pretty good. So I made the go-ahead. And granted, when I was younger, I did do dumb things like go to this jump rock up in Buena Vista, which is super dangerous. It, you have to thread the needle, basically. And what that means is you have to land or fall in a specific area to be okay. Like, yeah, and it's just, it was not a good decision. And I only did it like once, maybe twice. Actually, I think I only did it one actual time. And then I think I jumped into the water elsewhere. But because, yeah, it was like in a river, and it was a deep spot, but then it got shallow on either ends of that deep spot. So it, was, it could have been fatal, or you could have broken a leg or an arm. Or, and then if you hit the, the rocks, because like, like I said, threading the needle is you had to be in a specific area to not hit the sides. Like it had walls. So it's like dropping down like this part of a river where it gets really tight, and the rapids go really fast, so it's, and it's deep. And I think that's part of why, like, and actually that'd be the scientific way to go about that is if you're observing an area of the river that moves faster or has more rapids, which granted for Buena Vista, that was our economy. We had river rafting. So we were very, um, our economy was revolved around people coming and hanging out in our little peaceful, like mountain town, trashing it really, which was annoying, but yeah, people are filthy. And that's the thing, because like people in cities don't have to worry because there's usually somebody that'll clean it up. And that's why any time you hear somebody say, oh, yeah, they'll clean it up. Oh, I just want to, you know, the, oh, what is that, that YouTube show where that guy, that super ripped muscular guy, he goes and he takes the, and it was actually, it went viral. It was trending, I think, on the TikTok and the YouTube shorts. Or no, they didn't have YouTube shorts then. Anyways, um, but the guy picks, there's someone sitting in a fancy car, throws a piece of trash on the ground, and there's a, some worker in a vest, a work vest, that's like picking it up. And then this big strong guy goes, no, no, no. You know, shows leadership and picks up the trash, writes the wrong, throws it in the guy's car. And then the guy tries to get out and he just like closes the door and be like, no, you stay in your car. Because then that shows like violence is not the answer, you know make the right wrong and then a peaceful resolution that's like the three-step like problem solving like 
like assess the issue, assess the problem. So, and actually, there should even be a fourth step. So he should have gone up and said, hey, why do you do this? And then say, you know, or why are you doing this? Why? Or look at him and then say, no, no. and Because that, that's what I would do. Rather than getting physical and throwing the trash in the car, because that is escalating the situation. And technically in America, that could be considered assault, um, depending on how hard you throw the trash. So, and if there is any dangerous material in the trash. So you got to think about these things when you're problem solving. Even if you're trying to be a good leader in your community, like, you got to be careful. It's a slippery slope from being a good leader and being a jerk. Like, so, I mean, but granted, if someone's, like, littering, that is illegal, too. And, but that's the other thing. Here in America, if you get caught littering, it could be thousands of dollars of a fine, which I'd be okay with hundreds of dollars and it being enforced more often. Hold on. Oh, and then we should set up a system where you can go pick up trash and reduce the fine. See, that's where we, we struggle. Oh, all right, that's it for that. Yeah, I'll do another one. All right, let's cut it there, and I will see you in the next, the next one. Ta-ta.